Now, if you go and look at the monitoring system and its components and which parts need to be there to speak of a monitoring system, um, we first have to establish that a machine learning model is always uh, embedded in a business process and part of a bigger system. Uh, and that means if typically our machine learning model is hosted as an API or a prediction service, what will go in is like model inputs, we'll make some predictions, um, and then later there is actions being taken on these predictions. And if we take uh, the example of the customer lifetime value prediction, uh, we will probably send some information about the, the, the customer, maybe what their age is, uh, how much they've spent already, what type of uh, products they have. Um, and if we send that, to our prediction service, we will get back what their estimated uh, customer lifetime value is. Uh, and based on that, we're going to do different things inside of our platform. Maybe we can do some uh, lead prioritization or maybe some promotions. Um, and as we do those things, we will gather also more information about these customers. Like, for instance, also what their actual um, customer lifetime value ended up being, the ground truth, if that's available. Uh, but also potentially some business KPIs. We can look at the effectiveness of the uh, campaigns. We can see the behavior of these type um, of customers, maybe segment them as well and see how they're behaving and uh, analyze them a little bit further. And this is also ideally information that we capture and feed to our monitoring system. Um, so we are going to give this model input, this model output and this extra data inside of our system. We do a little bit of configuration because every machine learning use case is different uh, based on uh, the business context, uh, based on whether it's streaming, whether it's batch. Uh, and these are all things that are very important and so that we can kind of tailor our monitoring uh, system to a specific use case. Maybe we're interested in different metrics or probably also interested uh, in a different granularity of seeing um, and aggregating data and also our stakeholders and our model owners, they are gonna be different. And that is also something to bear in mind. Uh, hence, there is not really like a monitoring solution that fits all use cases. You will have to tweak um, the solution with regards to your specific use case. That's very important. Uh, inside of this monitoring system, there's a, there's a few components uh, working together. First of all, it's the logging or the collecting of the data, which is uh, what basically goes into your machine learning model and what we capture later. Uh, this data, of course, has to be leveraged by some type of analytics engine. Um, we use uh, NaniML as our backend to do concept drift detection, data drift detection, performance estimation, performance calculation. Uh, and all of these analytics um, have to be um, working together. And then when there is some alerts, uh, we would l uh, love to get notified, of course, so we can get a Slack notification, maybe an email. Um, and that will send us then again to a, a dashboarding tool or something more visual where we can drill down and come up with a plausible root cause analysis of why our uh, machine learning models are not as performant as they used to be. Um, and of course, it's not just data scientists that are potentially interested in this, but also model owners and business stakeholders as well, because at the end of the day, uh, uh, AI is generating a lot of value. And if we can show that uh, due to people using it, then monitoring will build a lot of trust across the organization. Um, and in, for the demo purposes, we're gonna zoom into a little bit of the analytics part, which is done by the open source learning email library. Um, and the customer lifetime value prediction use case uh, that I just uh, illustrated a little bit, if we look at which data we would capture over time, is that we have the reference data. This is ideally the test set. Um, where we collect some features about it um, over time. We know the predictions and of course also the ground truth because this is historical data used to test the machine learning model. And then at some point we deploy the machine learning model uh, and then we speak of the analysis period, period that the, the model spent in production. Uh, and we gather the same information, but the ground truth is not gonna be available for all instances. Uh, 